Dr. Zakia, could you explain to us in brief or <laughs> at length, depending on the answer, what are the main benefits of seeking repentance during this blessed month of Ramadan? The benefit of seeking forgiveness, repentance, toba, is according to Imam Raghib Isfiani, he gives three benefits for a person who repents. Number one, it patches up the fault that a person has and he realizes the point of entry into the heart of the devil. He realizes this is the point which is weak through which the devil can enter. And this makes a person more aware and evasive of the evil. Number two is that the person, he feels embarrassed and he's fearful of the Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that brings in him the humility and the humbleness. Number three, a person who has tasted the evil and then comes back to the good, he has the taste of both the good and the evil. He has the taste of sweet as well as the bitter. So when he sees other brothers, other human beings committing the same fault, he is soft towards them and he forgives them and he helps them. According to Imam Ibn Qayyim, he gives six benefits for a person who repents. Number one, when a person repents, it is the best thing that Allah loves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves when a person repents and he asks for forgiveness because when a person repents, he's very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you find humility and humbleness. Number two, the act of repentance is one of the best acts of worship. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he realizes that his slave, that his servant, he has come back to the true path and he asks for forgiveness and he believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I mentioned earlier, that more happier than a person when he finds his camel which is lost. Number three, it brings humility and humbleness in a person. So he starts believing in the Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much more than before. Number four, when a person repents, his heart is broken. And this is the time in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he hears the duas, the repentance. As the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, Mashi ibn Majah, volume number three, book of fasting, hadith number 1752, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears the supplication of three people. One is a just ruler or imam, Second is the person who is fasting and the third a person who is oppressed. In another hadith, it says that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears the supplication of three people who are either traveling, fasting or oppressed. Here it indicates that all these three types of people, their hearts are broken. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes closer to the servants when the hearts are broken and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps them and gives them mercy. The fifth benefit is that when a person, he repents sincerely, it is one of the best forms of worship. And the saying of one of the Salafs, that a person, he may commit a sin and may repent, and Allah will forgive him, and he can enter paradise. On the other hand, a person who does good deeds, and he may have conceit, and because of that, he may enter hell. I mean, the person may be proud that, you know, he has made no mistake, no sin, and that may take him to hellfire. The sixth benefit is, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 70, that all those who believe and they repent and they seek for forgiveness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turns to them and He forgives them and He changes their evil deed into good deed. For Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. And according to Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, the moment this verse of the Quran was revealed, the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was the most happy. Ibn Abbas, may Allah please with him, says that the most happy when Allah's messenger was, after any verse of the Quran was revealed, it was this verse of Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 70, as well as of Surah Fatah, chapter 48, verse number 1, where Allah Subhanahu says that we have given you manifest victory during Fatih Makkah. And Allah Subhanahu says in Surah Kafir, chapter number 40, verse number 3, that he is of forgiving and Allah accepts repentance and is the one who forgives. And it's mentioned in Surah Hijr, chapter number 15, verse number 49, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of forgiving and merciful. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Zakir.